the festive centerpiece is set to light up the royal building throughout the Christmas period, beaming proudly on display outside the palace. The large tree is adorned in bright fairy lights and giant baubles. The historical Royal Palace charity posted a video on Twitter of the family's tree being decorated at Kensington Palace. Situated in the palace grounds, its arrival has marked the official start of the Royals' Christmas. Not to be outdone, the official Twitter account of the Royal Family also released their beautiful trees in Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace has a triumvirate of tastefully decorated tree in the entrance to transform the hall. The tree at Kensington Palace will mark the first Christmas that Harry and Meehan have celebrated together but it will also be their last at the palace. Next year the couple will move to Fredmore Cottage in Windsor where they will welcome their first child. Having married in the summer, the couple will be leaving Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince William who also live at the palace. The couples have seemed to have come to loggerheads, with one palace insider saying, Harry will brook absolutely no criticism of Meehan, and he is so sensitive he often sees criticism or negativity where there isn't any. Tensions between the four appear to emerge after an argument between Duchess of Sussex and Duchess of Cambridge in the lead up to May's royal wedding. Arguments between the pair are thought to have escalated to the point that Kate was left in tears following a heated discussion over Princess Charlotte's bridesmaid dress. This year will also mark Meehan's first Christmas as a royal despite having spent it at Sandringham last year with the family. Her attendance last year broke tradition as she and Harry became the first unmarried couple to attend the royal Christmas celebrations. Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams said, The monarchy relies heavily on precedent and tradition but it also makes its own.